Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you what you can do in three minutes. So the bell just rings. It probably takes 10 to 15 seconds to leave your room. So we're probably at how many seconds? 12. All right, so then you... Okay guys, so I just made it to my locker. And lockers take around five to 10 seconds, but if you can't get it, it can cost the whole period. So let's just take a while opening my locker and then opening it. I know, that's, and then let's say you have to get maybe a folder. So then you have to take your lock and then put it back on your locker and that will cause a lot of time so yeah and now let's see how much time we have left and how far we can walk Okay guys, that's how far I can go in three minutes of the time opening my locker, which can always randomize the time you have, but you can't like use the bathroom if you have to go all the way to the seventh grade hallway, you'll be late. And also, it, what about how long it takes you in the classroom? So now we're gonna show what you can do in four minutes. Four minute timer, see how far we can get. And yeah, so the bell just ran. It probably takes 10 to 15 seconds to get out of your classroom. The and timer's going, by the way. All right, tell me when you hit 10. It's been past time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five. Yo, you shouldn't get my lock combination. I'm getting your lock combination. Okay, guys. So this it locks take a while. You know, they're annoying sometimes because sometimes you just can't get it. So that can average around 15 to 20 seconds if you mess up, but normally putting it back on, your lockers take around 30 seconds to complete. So now, let's go see how far we can go after I get my thing. Let's go. Okay, now we jet walk. We jet walk now. We go far. We go so far. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> this is so weird. Last time some kid got popped over. <laughs> now some shit. <laughs> Show the windows. Oh, that looks so weird. Oh, right here. <laughs> Bro, that jump is so effective. I remember when I was a sixth grader going down this hallway. I never. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've never. This is my first time going down like this hallway this year because um, I have all my periods in seventh thing, but I'm still late for long way. I know. Yeah, you students should be faster and stuff. Is this three feet social distancing? This is like my math thing. It's like what we're doing in math: one peg, two peg, three peg. How much time do you have left? Oh shoot, we're not. We have to go fast. Okay. Is that Jackson for like the third time today? It's like a workout. It's just for a movie. That's a mic. That's a microphone. Come on, bro. We're slow. Okay, office. Okay. Come on, stop. All right, so we made it a whole lap around the school so you can get wherever you need. You can probably use the bathroom if it's not that far of a travel. And you can also struggle on your locker for a minute or two and you'll still make it extremely far. So yeah, now. <laughs> Hi 
Um, my name is Logan, and I have some questions for you. Hello. Um, this will be about um the f switching the passing period to three minutes to four. Okay. So um my first question is, what do you think about the switching period, the three minute passing period? So the first thing I would say is, what do you? Th why do we think we need an extra minute? I think that because um you can have time to go back to your locker. Say you're in the seventh grade hallway and you need to get something from your locker and then go to like the sixth grade hallway. You need that extra minute so you can do that without have being late or getting a tardy. Or feeling rushed, right? Yeah. I think you make a compelling argument. I think it, it's, it may be different for some students that go to different hallways. Mm -hmm. But knowing our stu our school, our, our enrollment's in that 500 range. We have we don't have a lot of stairs, right? We actually have no stairs, pretty much. And it's just three kind of hallways. We feel like that three minutes is a good opportunity to get to where you need to be. However, knowing that some of the anxiety is pretty much drawn from getting the lock undone quickly mm -hmm. and making sure that you don't get interrupted by your friends and moving fast, you make a good point that four minutes could be helpful. Yeah. But then, you gotta remember, four minutes for every passing period, an extra minute added, yeah. makes our school day then a little bit longer too. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole different animal you have to look into, but I kinda like the idea. Yeah. Hi, Ms. Feinstein, my name's Logan, and I have some questions for you. Sounds good. Um, so my first question is, how many sixth grade classes do you have? I teach three sixth grade science classes. Mm. Um, my next question evolving that is, do they seem like they, they're in a hustle when they come over here? Sometimes. Um, the first couple days of school of the year were rough. Um, I'd say I'd have half my class here when the period started. Um, it's been better, but we still need to kind of figure out when to go to lockers and walking a little quicker. Yeah. Um, are kids late at all normally, or are they all there at once? Um, it's not too bad. I'd say I have a couple stragglers, maybe like two or three, and it's not every day. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say throughout the week, a couple days a week, and there's usually like two or three of them. Mm -hmm. And by late, I mean like not even a full minute sometimes. Do you like the idea of having a minute longer passing period? I think it would be interesting to have one more minute. I know we had five minutes um, with Zoom, just to kind of get off the Zoom and back on. Um, adding another minute might not be bad, especially for those sixth graders that are coming from sixth grade hallway up here. Um, it does give an extra minute to like hang out in the hallway, which isn't always a good thing. Um, but we might have less tardies if that was the case. Might not be a bad idea. Would your sixth grade classes benefit from this change? Would they benefit? I think they would. Um, I know a lot of them need what? like a mask break when they get here because they come from PE. Mm -hmm. So I'll have them stand in the back and they are able to take their mask off for a minute. So that might help them um, as well as getting to class. Like I said, there's a couple um, that are stragglers. So overall, I think it would benefit them. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for letting us interview. My name is Logan. And yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.